Hey everybody, how you doing? It is Mr. Bookman, and I will be reading The Rooster Who Would Not Be Quiet by Carmen uh, Gray D D D, D and Eugene Yo Chin. Please enjoy. The rooster who would not be quiet. Once there was a village where the streets rang with songs from morning till night. Dogs bayed, mothers cooned, engines rummed, fountains warbled, and everybody sang in the shower. Everyone and everything had a song to sing. This made the village of La Paz, a very noisy place. It was hard to hear. It was hard to sleep. It was hard to think. And no one knew what to do. So they fi fired the mayor. Vote for Don BP. Now they were a very noisy village without a mayor, so they held elections. Only Don Poo Poo BP promised peace and quiet. He won by landslide. The next day, a very polite law appeared in the village square. No loud singing in public. Per favor. Things were getting really better already. But more laws soon followed. No loud singing at home. No loud singing. No singing. I best a quiet already. The noisy, noisy village of La Paz was silent as a tomb. Even the tea kettles were afraid to whistle. Some people left the village singing loudly. Others stayed behind and learned to hum. The rest were great, just grateful to have a good night's sleep for crying out loud. Seven very quiet years passed. Then one evening, a saucy gal... Leto and his family wandered into the village and roosted in a favorite mango tree. When the little rooster awoke the next morning, he did what roosters were born to do. He sang, Kiki Ruki! As his rotten luck would have it, the mango tree grew beneath the cracky mayor's window. Oh no! You there! Doused 
damn poo poo pee pee. No singing, it's too loud. Well, that's a silly law, said the Mary Galletto. Smell the sweet mango tree. How can I keep from singing? Hump. Then yo chop down that stinky tree. Huff, down. Poo poo, pee poo. Pee pee. Will you sing then? The plucky gal Leto shrugged. I may sing a less cheerful song, but I will sing, and he did. Kiki Ruki. Still singing, snapped Don Poo You have no tree, remember? I have no tree, said the Galanto. But I have many hens and chicks. How can I keep from singing? Will you sing if I throw you in a cage alone? Threatened Don Poo I may sing a Lonester song, said the stubborn Galletto, but I will sing, and he did. Kiki Ruki! Why are you singing now? growled Don Poo Poo Poo. You have no hen and chicks. No hen and chicks. The get up side. But I will still have corn to eat. How can I keep from singing? And if you have no corn, asked the mayor, I may sing a hunger song, said the headstrong Galletto. But I will sing. And he did. Kiki Ruki, aren't you hungry, you crazy bird? Well, Dom Poo Poo. Claire, of course, said the gallop, gallop. But if the sun came, can still shine despite the world's troubles, how can I keep from singing? And if you never seen the sun again, snarled the mayor. And he ran for the blanket to cover the rooster's cage. I may sing a darker song, the brave Galetto called after him, but I will sing, and he did. Kiki Ruki! <laughs> As the Gallup sings song echoed down the soundless streets of La Paz. It stirred an old familiar longing for a time when everyone and everything had a song to sing. Kiki Ruki, Kiki Ruki, Kiki Ruki, Kiki Ruki, Kiki Ruki. Kiki Ruki, Kiki Ruki. Now, so with Don Papu singing, gave him indigestion. The next day, Don Papu stumbled out to the yard in the night shirt. He tore away the blanket and Plead, you have no tree to roost in, no hen, no chicks to comfort you, no grain to fill your belly, no sun to drive away the shadows. Why, oh why, are you still singing? Promise to stop and I will let you free.
One by one, a quiet crowd began to gather in Don Pupu's yard. I sing for those who dare not to sing, or have forgotten how, said the Galetto. If I must sing for them as well, Senor, how can I keep from singing? And if I have you made into soup, the mayor threatened, I suppose you will still sing if you are dead. The entire village held its breath, waiting for the Galetto's reply. Dead roosters sing no song, he said. Ha, crowd, ha, crowded Don Pupu. Sure, he had won. But a song is louder than one noisy little rooster and stronger than one belly of a mare, bully of a mare, said the Galetto, and it will never die as long as there's someone to sing it. And there was. Kiki Rookie, Kiki Rookie, Kiki Rookie, Kiki Rookie, Kiki Rookie. Once again, there was a village where the streets rang with songs from morning till night. This made for a very noisy place to live, and that's just the way everyone liked it. Well, that rooster got everybody to sing again. <laughs> uh, how many of you got a rooster where you live at? Or if you know anybody with a rooster? And does it keep you up all night? Let me know in the comment box with a thumbs up. Well, everybody, I hope all of you enjoyed this book reading. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. Share it. If you're new and you came along this book reading, Hit that red subscribe button down below and subscribe to my channel. And check out my other readings. But until next time, they call me Mr. Bookman and this book reading is over. Have a good one. Take care.